I, I got a stat for you, Alonzo. I don't know if you've seen this uh, because the Miami defense, I, I saw the Florida State game. I saw the Duke game. Very impressive in those two showings. But the defense is 12th in the ACC in third down conversion, meaning they can't get off the field. I was a bit surprised to see that. I don't know if you've seen that stat and if that really relates or do you just think that that doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now? No, it makes all the sense in the world right now. I don't need to see the stat to know how bad we play on third down. Against um, Toledo, we could not get off the field at all. Even against Bethune-Cookman, it was driving on us. and It's like, I, I don't know. We Last year, we, we, we had stronger, like Corn Elder, we had stronger corners. This year, we're playing some, some freshmen and everything. So I feel like he was trying to work in it, work those guys into the system, not wanting those guys to get beat deep. We went to a lot of zone on third down this year, which most time on third down he would blitz. Um, so those first couple games, especially against Toledo, but like I said, against Bethune Cookman, it was it was it wasn't pretty on third down. They they're 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 ranked where they deserve to be ranked there right now on third down because they definitely was playing bend but don't break. Tonight they got better against Florida State. Um, they got better against Duke at it. You know, a little bit more blitzing on third down and um. On you know, second and third down, trying to get them against the chains, but it was some plays, man. When I was watching, especially against the um, oh uh, man, who, Toledo, when it was third and fifteen, and you know, playing bell coverage, and those guys getting first downs on it. So it, the stats aren't lying on that. We would definitely, we definitely need to improve on on third down situations. We've got Alonzo1219 uh, on the line. You can catch his YouTube channel right there. Just uh, search Alonzo1219. It's the U family, and he helps us out with Miami football with the Canes of the big coastal division affair against Georgia Tech of the Yellow Jackets at 3-1. and one. The long-form conversation, the audio you can catch on Podbean, iTunes, and Stitcher. Just search Mark Rogers TV. So Taquan Johnson, I mentioned him at quarterback. Uh, they've been playing extremely well despite the loss of Diedrich Mills to a suspension early in the season. He's the kid that ran for a buck 69 and a couple touchdowns in the bowl game against Kentucky, but they've just keep on plugging in players and keep marching on. So based on what you've seen out of this defense for Miami, they can't get off the field. Your concerns about uh, going up against uh, a team that's not going to hit you for 40 passes through the air, 400 yards, but going to stay disciplined, run the triple option and run it to a T. I'm not, not too concerned just because of the style of offense. Um, they can sneak. They can sneak the tight end behind you. They've done that before. They can sneak that running. They they love that wheel route. That's one of their favorite plays. So they can sneak that running back out of the backfield. But I think that as the season, especially with the Florida State game, I, I think that um, Manny, Coach Manny Diaz, decided to you know on third down, we're not just going to sit back and let those guys dictate. We're going to come at you. We're, I'd rather get beat that way. But the the key the key thing for us right now is the loss of Cedric Redwine. And how, how do we – I think he's out for this week. How do we replace him with, with, a, with a bunch of freshmen? Who's going to step up and, you know, go in there and, and take his spot? Right now I have no idea who that is, but that would be my key concern on defense right now is, is if he doesn't play, how do we handle that? But like I said, I think that Manny Diaz, he kind of he kind of settled down a little bit because he's a very aggressive coach, and it, it kind of shocked me the way we were playing early in the season. But, you know, sometimes it takes a little time to get, get used to, especially when you're playing two, deep, uh, two new cornerbacks. So I think we'll be fine, but you still have to worry about the, um, the tight end going down the seam and that, that H-back on that wheel route because they, they love to throw those passes. And they always, for some reason, they always have great wide receivers. I mean, for some reason, they have big, tall, strong wide receivers. It, it, it kind of baffles me like I look at some of these guys that go to Georgia Tech like why would you want to go there and you're not going to catch the ball a lot and they didn't end up being NFL Pro Bowl it's just like <laughs> so, yeah, so they I'm have the talent to, after Calvin Johnson I'm, I'm forgetting names here Waller was one of them I'm, I'm I'm not coming up with the name Snelling was another wide receiver yeah. but yeah they've got about three or four guys right now playing in the NFL even with Charles Johnson retiring a couple years ago uh, Calvin Johnson, Calvin Johnson retiring a couple years ago that, yeah, they go to Georgia tech. They catch like 15 passes a year. They're usually like 30 yard passes, but they're only yeah. like 15 receptions a year, but he keeps uh, getting like a couple guys that you've got to respect in the passing game because they'll, they'll, uh, suck you in with the run and, uh, they'll go deep about, uh, when they, when they throw it, they stretch the field. They, they go for the jugular. They're not dumping it off typically. 
Uh, they they rank high in yards per reception, but uh, they only throw it. They want to throw it about 15 times, and that's about it. But they will hit you for big gashers. And it, it always seems to work that way. And you just, it's like you just don't – it's, it's hard to, to, to dictate their offense because they can throw the ball when they decide to. And their quarterbacks are always pretty accurate enough to get the ball to the receiver. So you definitely have to be – Miami definitely has to be very disciplined this week. 